Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is August 17th, Sunday afternoon. It's hot out here. Uh, very humid. And uh, I've been at this park for a little while. Um, it's actually part of a school. Uh, I did get a silver here earlier this year and uh, not on video. I got a 1907 Indian head penny here the last time I was here um, about a week ago. Anyhow, um, decided to come back out today. Sorry about the wind if you hear that. I was just getting a 1345 here and, I, and it bounced to a 1346 once in a while. It was not fluty at all. And I thought it would be either uh, you know, a copper penny or a, or a clad quarter. And as I got the plug open, it's not that uh, deep. It's actually pretty shallow. It's actually still in the plug. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it looks like I got a silver, probably a dime. And uh, you know, based on the depth of the, of the plug, it's like mm, two inches. It's all two to three inches deep below the surface. So glad to have it. We'll see what it is here now. Uh, looks like a rosy. And I don't know if you guys can see the date on that or not. Looks like it's maybe a 56. So happy to have it. Get back with you if we find anything else. Well, good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, September 6th, and I'm out at a school, old school, in a town nearby where I grew up. Um, and I'm just trying to hit this open, grassy area, and we'll see if I find anything good. Um, so far I found a little bit of clad and then I got a weak uh, 1244 signal that went all the way up to 1246 uh, I was saying six to seven inches deep and I don't know if you can see it in the plug or not but uh, it wasn't that deep it was only maybe five five to six and it does appear to be a silver dime and we'll see what we got here Can't tell. Got poor eyesight. Ah, it looks like it might be a Merc. Awesome. I'll try to get it cleaned up a little bit and let you see what it is. I'll see if I can zoom in here and have it uh, focus. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's a 1942 and it's a D mint mark. So, silver number one, hopefully, more to come. Take care. Well, hey there, diggers. It is Saturday, October 4th, and I'm out again at an old school near a town where I grew up. I think the school was built in about 1900. Uh, the town was uh, incorporated in 1896, and I just got a 1245, 1246. It was kind of warbly, and I've been here now an hour and a half, and otherwise had just two pennies uh, and a bunch of junk. Uh, but I finally got something good. Sorry about the wind if you hear that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Where is it? Where is it? Right there. Looks like I got a mercury dime. It was kind of in the sidewall, so it might have been on its edge. I hope I didn't smash, scratch the heck out of it. I don't know if that's focused or not, but Looks like a mercury dime. I'll uh, try to see the date and let you know what it is. Take care. Well, after getting the dirt cleared off, it looks like it's a 1917. I don't know if I can see that or not. 1917S. And uh, looking in the sunshine, looks like I did uh, nick it right up at the top up there. Maybe it's hard to tell on the video, but with the sun glaring at the right angle, it looks like I, uh, I did scrape it a bit. Too bad. Oh well. I'm glad to have the silver. I think that one might be number nine for the year. Not exactly sure. It's been so long since I had one. But uh, happy to have it, and we'll see if we can get lucky and find anything else. Hey, success number two here. Uh, I did not uh, put on film a 1944D wheat penny that I got just a few minutes ago. But still following the sidewalk here, 
Uh, back there, that tree is where I found uh, the last wheat penny, and the tree before that was the last mercury dime, the 1917S. And now I got another silver, second silver of the day, and it's another mercury. So I'll see what I got for a date, and I'll let you know. Well, that one was a 1941D. So a little newer than the last one, not quite as worn. Pretty decent shape. Happy with that. So silver number two, both of them Mercs. Looks like I found the right spot to be in. All right, I'll get back with you if you find anything else. All right, everybody, home uh, after the hunt, uh, the evening of October 4th. I did end up with two silvers for the day and five wheats. The two silvers are a 1917S Mercury Dime and a 1941D Mercury Dime. And then five wheats. The oldest is a 24D in uh, very difficult shape. I don't know why it's not focusing. Come on. Well, it's 24D, uh, 28D, 41D and then a 44D and a 44S. So, not a bad day out. Uh, glad to have at least uh, the sun shining today. Uh, something that hasn't happened all week. And uh, a couple of silvers. I think that those are nine and 10 for the year. So, finally made it to double digits. Kind of late in the year to get there, but um, still happy to have them. Happy hunting, everybody.